Come on. Be available. <laughs> Mason Crosby brought it around. Right. All right. Now let's stop talking about the Packers. There's a lot of other things. Is there a scab? Let me just pick. Right. Hi, Jesse. It's nice to have you in today. (laughs) Good morning. Nice to be in. You're right. Let's not talk about the Packers. Let's talk about digging ourselves out of this cold. The cold really starting to loosen its grasp on southeastern Wisconsin. Yes, it is still chilly this morning, but not nearly as bad as it was yesterday. We had sub-zero temperatures to start yesterday. Today, we're at least above zero. A very weak cold front will come through. That's going to keep the clouds around today. I do expect a few areas, some very light snow to push through Walworth County today. Really, most of us just looking at a few flurries, not seeing much more than a dusting, especially in the south. But most of us, again, just a few flakes in the forecast. Then things are going to start to really turn around. We'll be back into the 20s by the time we get to Thursday. But right now, yeah, still a little bit on the cool side. Taking a live look at the airport right now. Eight degrees. At least we've been warming up thanks to that wind that has a little bit of a southerly direction to it. The wind's only about five to 15 miles an hour today, so not nearly as windy as yesterday. But take a look at this picture from yesterday. This is from Leslie and Trevor. She sent in this picture of the sun setting. This is called a light pillar. Now, this really only happens when temperatures are below 15 degrees uh, above zero. Really, just because there are some ice crystals in the atmosphere that give this cool illusion of some light, making it look like kind of a little lightsaber. Star Wars moment for you. And of course, the temperatures were below 15 degrees yesterday. High temperatures only in the single digits. High of five degrees yesterday in Waukesha. Eight was our high in Milwaukee. A couple tens on the map sprinkled here and there from Whitewater down through Lake Geneva as well as Kenosha. We did have some 10 degree temperatures today. Eight degree or 10 degrees warmer for many of us. 18 for our high, still at least 10 degrees colder than our average high temperature for this time of the year. But it definitely could be a lot worse. Back in 1971, coldest temperature on record for the United States. That was in Alaska, of course. Prospect Creek, 80 degrees below zero was the actual air temperature. So at least we're not talking about that. Here's your future forecast, though. Again, that little system swings on through, could give us a few flurries. Then high pressure comes on in for your uh, start to Thursday. We will be seeing calm winds because of that, but here comes a warm front. That's going to increase the clouds on Thursday. And yes, this is actually snow in our forecast Thursday night and into Friday morning, the heaviest of which will be up near Green Bay and into the Door Peninsula, but we could squeeze out one to almost two inches for some of us. But just today, a few flurries in the forecast. 18 for our high in Milwaukee again, partly cloudy to mostly cloudy, not nearly as windy, not nearly as bitterly cold. Another night with single digit temperatures overnight low of three in Waukesha, eight in Milwaukee. Tomorrow, 20s return. Snow showers expected Thursday night and into Friday again. Many of us could get one to almost two inches. Best chance for more of that accumulating snow up in the north and 30 by Sunday, Caitlin. All right.